In this video, we're going to do another example of how to find the centroid of a body that is mathematically described using the integration method. So the body that we wish to find the centroid of is this shape here that goes from 0 to 1 on the x-axis and is defined by the curve y equals x squared. So for the differential element that is here, we can define the distance to the centroid of that differential element. So the x tilde, so the distance along the x-axis to the centroid is equal to the coordinate x and y tilde because it's rectangular y tilde will have this value here which is y upon 2 so where this value here is y we also know that the area of this differential element is the value here y so that's d a equals y times the width of this differential element dx. So that hasn't actually changed from the triangle example we did previously. And we're going to remind ourselves of the formula that we use. So x bar equals the integral over the area of x tilde dA. And integral over the area of dA. And again, we're going to substitute back in what we know about dA. So, substituting for dA, we get the integral. And now we can put the limits of this integral. So, we're going between 0 and 1 along the x-axis. And we've got x dot y d dx and divide by the integral between 0 and 1 of y dx so this is still very general but at this point now we can substitute for the known function we have for this shape that y equals x squared so we're going to substitute where y occurs and we now get that x bar is equal to the integral between 0 and 1 of x cubed dx all divided by the integral between 0 and 1 of x squared dx. And from there, we can carry out the integration. So we have x to the 4 divided by 4. And we'll carry out the definite integral between 0 and 1. Divided by x to the power 3 divided by 3. Again, between the limits of 0 and 1. So this equals when we carry out the definite integral 1 quarter divided by 1 third and if the units that we're using for this x and y is in meters then we can do 1 quarter divided by one third which will get us that the value for the centroid in the x direction equals 0.75 meters so three quarters of the way along and we're going to do now the same for the y direction so we have y bar equals the integral of y tilde dA divided by the integral of dA. 
of the total area. So now we need to substitute for what we know about y tilde and what we know about dA. And this will get us that we have an integral of y upon 2, which was the y tilde value, and dA was y dx. And on the bottom, we have the integral of dA, which was y dx. And now at this point, we've got an integral of something involving y's, but we've got an integral over dx. So we're going to substitute for our curve that y equals x squared. And if we substitute that into this formula, we can get that y bar is equal to the integral of one half, so I'll take the over two out to the side, and we have y, which is an x squared, multiplied by another y, which is an x squared, all over dx, divided by the integral dA, which we already know from last time, was the one third. So let's go with that rather than recalculate it if we've already done it. So let's perform this integral between zero and one. It's just, so we have the integral of a half of x to the four dx divided by the integral dA, which we know is a third. So carrying out the integral, we have x to the five divided by, we've still got the one over two, times by the five, which we evaluate between zero and one, and then divided by our third again. And so this will be equal to, this will be one divided by 10, so one tenth, 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.333, which equals 0 0.3 meters. So one of the strange things you might have noticed is that even when we're calculating the value for y bar, we're still doing an integral over dx. We could go in the opposite direction, so let me explain what I mean, and do an integral over dy for both the x and y coordinates. So here was our curve, y equals x squared, and we're evaluating at one meter, x and y. But now to do an integral over y, we could do the same thing, but we choose our differential sliver to be horizontal. So this distance here for this sliver is dy. The distance to the centroid in the x direction, so here's the centroid of the differential element. This distance here is x. And the distance to the centroid so let's call that x tilde. And the distance to the centroid in the y direction is now y, not y upon two. So if the value, the value of x for this value of y is here, and this is the distance x tilde, that we can write that x tilde equals x plus this extra distance here, which equals one half. So it's half of the distance of one minus x. So one minus x, which is this distance. And we only want half of that. 
So we have now a X tilde and Y tilde defined. And now we also want to have the area of the differential element. So DA in this case becomes, so this distance here we said was the horizontal distance of the differential element was one minus X. And to get the area, we need to multiply by dy. And so you can see when we substitute through into our formula, we're going to get a dy instead of a dx. However, the reason you wouldn't want to do this is now we have extra terms, some extra minus signs appearing, and potential problems with minus sign substitutions that could lead to errors. It's not much more complicated. However, you might want to use a horizontal sliver, and this is the next tutorial. So I'm not going to go through the full explanation. This we'll do together as a tutorial. Is if now, so let's have a function. Let's call this one, let's go a slightly more difficult, y equals x cubed. And in this case, we wanted to find out the area above the curve. So this value of x is 1, so that's x, that's y. And in this case, it makes perfect sense, so we don't have these 1 minus x's or 1 minus y's show up and more terms to deal with. In this case, it makes perfect sense to use a horizontal differential element. And again, so that is dy. The centroid of the element is halfway along. So this would be x tilde. Distance to halfway up is going to be y tilde. And we can proceed as we did previously by substituting these known values in.